multiple collapsing containers, like in this visualization you see here on Tableau Public. What I'm going to do is just click this Read More button, and you'll see it sort of uh, moves the page. It almost looks like it paginates like, uh, like a story and allows me to go to the next page. So if I click now Read More here on this tan container, uh, you'll notice that that tan container moves over to the left. And now we have this light blue. And I also have this go back option here. So now the tan container is back over here and this teal is back. And if I click teal, teal moves over and I'm back to the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make that and let's just jump in. So here I have a dashboard already created. My dashboard size, by the way, is 800 by 800. And I'm going to use multiple, um, well, I'm going to use collapsing containers plus uh, multiple buttons in those containers to do this. So I'm going to first start by taking a horizontal object, clicking and dragging that on my view. I'm going to then click on layout and change my position on X to zero, Y to zero. And then my width is going to be, I'm going to sort of pick an arbitrary, really large number, 6,000. And my height on my dashboard is 800. So I'm going to choose 800. You'll notice that container goes off my view and that is definitely intentional here. What I want to do is add a blank object on the inside. This is going to help for later. And after I have that blank object inside, I'm going to take a vertical container, place it inside the horizontal container to the left of blank, drop it in, fix my width, and set that width to 400, which is half of my 800 dashboard. From there, uh, I'm just going to do some light formatting so we can sort of see it. I'm going to play with the background I use yellow like I did before, and I can, oops, I can add an object inside of it. Maybe I'll just add a text object and I'll say, this is the first container. Great, there is my first container. I can add any object inside of this and sort of build out my first section of the dashboard. I'm going to now add a second horizontal or sorry, a second vertical container to the right of the first container, but to the left of blank. So right in the middle here and release. Once again, I'm gonna set that width to be 800, half the dashboard size, filling it in. And once again, I'm going to add some background color here. Maybe I'll go with that teal. And again, I can add some text, another container. I'll hit okay. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this yellow container, this yellow vertical container. I'm going to choose add show hide button. So I'm going to choose that. And now I've added it and I have this button that is controlling this first container. I'm going to click and drag that into the second container. I have this big X. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to edit this button. And maybe I'll just say uh, instead of using a button image, I'll use text button. And when the item is shown, which it is sort of now, I'm gonna say, um, and this is a little trick, is that we're gonna make it appear like the containers are moving, but really gonna make them disappear. So we could just say, see more. And then when the item is hidden, which is when it's hidden, we could just say, go back. And I'm gonna hit apply. You'll say, here's the see more button. And here's that. Uh, again, we'll make it show up. I could change the background, do more formatting, but I'm gonna leave it as is. So right, if I click on see more, I'm, I'm gonna use my alt click here. And what's gonna happen is, sure enough, it made that other one disappear. Now it says go back. If I clicked go back, it sort of makes that happen um, back and forth, working perfectly. Now, if I wanna add more containers, I follow essentially the same process here. I can take a vertical container, drag it out, put it in the middle, and add that container. I'm gonna edit my width here to be exactly 400. It sort of takes up that space. Oops, this should be on this side though. I'm not sure how that happened. So there we go, now it's on the right position. I can change that background. I'll make it be teal this time, or sorry, light blue. Well, maybe green, let's do green. So I've added this in. Once again, I can add any content, more content. And then same trick, adding more buttons. Click on that other container, add a show hide button. There it is, bring it back into the container. And then 
whoops, I'm going to edit this button. From here, we can just say, all right, uh, let's once again change this button text when it's shown, see more, go back, hit OK. Once again, to add content, I need to make sure I'm using the see more button to hide that value because I can only build when the content is visible on my dashboard. I can't put objects on the outside. So let's, I'll just sort of show you what I mean. So I add this object. It's again, kind of doing some funny things here. I add it that width, set it to 400, bring it back over. I just sort of change this background color. Let's use that light blue, right? If I go to add another container, I can still get it in there, but I can't click on it. So that's it. That's the that's this video to show you how to do it. Containers to use show hide buttons. And again, I could just publish on this on server and it would work just like we're seeing here. Same idea, same concept working as is. Anyway, thanks a lot. We'll catch you in the next video.